My name is Nico Ruge, and uh, I'm the chief of party in the Economics of Natural Capital in East Africa project that uh, is funded by the USAID and uh, being run by environmental incentives. One of the um, experiences that I had when uh, I was a young person and uh, I was going to secondary school was a beautiful view of Kilimanjaro and I could view it from uh, my school maybe uh, some 200 kilometers away from Kilimanjaro but you could just on a clear day you'll see Kilimanjaro with the snow peak and um, my just recent experience uh, just over flying Kilimanjaro I, I couldn't see any glacier left so that is uh, a massive impact that it's going to have in the region because um, the the glacier provides the region with a consistent flow of water. And uh, if we are having less and less glacier, it means that we are going to have less and less uh, stream flow or the springs will perhaps dry up. And then in my line of duty, um, at some stage, I think between 2003 and 2010, I worked with the community in Northern Kenya, known as the Samburu. These are pastoral communities. And um, as I worked with them, I just kept seeing um, deterioration of the landscape. And um, I remember, um, I think this could have been in 2006, when we had such intense drought period that um, this Drevi zebra started contracting um, disease, disease. And, um, and this was based on, um, you know, basically having no food and therefore trying to graze too close to the soil and the soil uh, has this bacteria that was getting into their mouth and then they were having this uh, hemorrhagic disease and that was sad to see because this is an endangered species already and now climate change was uh, impacting it to a level where it was going to potentially be wiped out. The economics of natural capital project in East Africa essentially uh, is undertaking the analytical assessment of uh, the natural capital in four priority landscapes in the East African community region. The East African community has uh, six partner states. So what we are doing essentially is to map these landscapes and then determine the natural capital stock uh, in each of these landscapes and then also look at the flows of that natural capital to the general livelihoods and economy of the people. But uh, the, the whole idea is to try and um, make the governments work together, but also to see how we can have communities work across transboundary areas, and uh, thirdly, to see how we can enjoin the private sector to support uh, community initiatives uh, in a way that is beneficial to the communities, to the private sector and to environment. Mm -hmm.